All right. So we can do, let's do like a little bit of a lab review. So this was our movies data set, right? And it's, if you kind of remember it. So the way we have, we have this table called names, right? Which is essentially like everyone involved in a movie, right? It can be like the actors, it can be uh, directors, you know, whatever, producers, I don't know, you know, but anyone kind of involved in a movie, and that's the names. And then just paying attention to like primary key and foreign key, right? This is IMDB name ID, right? Is the primary key. And then we also have movies themselves. So this is the other one. It just has a another primary key. This is IMDB title ID. So that's the identifier for a movie is title ID. And then the identifier for like people involved in a movie is the name ID. All right. And then we have the roles. And this is our join table. Right, so you can already see, like, it makes sense that this is a many-to-many -many relationship because, you know, a person can be involved in many movies and then a movie has many individuals working in it. And this table really just has two, th three things, I guess. The title, the name, and then the category. Like, what is their position, okay? In that, particular to that movie, right? Because if you're, like, think of Clint Eastwood, right? Sometimes he's an actor, sometimes he's a director. Um, okay, so this is our join table, right? IMDb title ID, IMDb name ID, and then a category. Let me start to delete this. Sorry, I did this before class. Okay, so I guess we can start by just, eh, I'll put this below. This is a little nice. Let's just throw away. Okay, so we'll start by maybe just looking at, what do we need? Um, this is Tom Cruise, I wanna do the one before. Take a look at the revenue earned in movies by Peter Jackson, Michael Bay, Christopher Nolan, and Steven Spielberg, okay? Uh, organize the entire set of movies from most to least. So this is like, you know, overall, right? This should like be ordering the rows overall and add a column that ranks revenue earned from most to least. Um, all right, so this is, this is like the rank. So I think the main thing to realize is like, when you're writing these queries, the window function, it only affects that one row. It doesn't affect really the overall structure of the data, like uh, of, you know, the table itself. It, it's really just specific to that one Sorry, I said row when I meant column. It's really just specific to that one column. And so you should do it last. Like I always, like even if this, if I didn't find window functions a little confusing, I would still say do it, do them last because they're really just internal to that one column, okay? So first you wanna do any joins, any group buys, right? Like select everything and then do the window function. All right, so let's get started. So revenue earned by movies, earned in movies by Peter Jackson, Michael Bay, Christopher Nolan, or Steven Spielberg. So we can do, start with maybe just select names.name from names. So this is like select a person's name. And we can do names. Uh, why not? I just want to kind of get some initial data. Names.imdb, uh, it's name ID, I believe from names, where names.name in, and then here is where you can put a list of names. All right, so this in function uh, will look for, right, like individuals whose name is one of the following. And I forget the names we're choosing. I'll just copy them here. Peter Jackson, Michael Bay, Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg. Oopsies, let's do this. All right. So select the names. So just basically like, let's just reduce our data down to this. Okay, and we got it. Um, where's Steven Spielberg? Maybe I spelled his name wrong. Michael Bay, Peter Jackson, names.name, where names in, uh, names.name, in, I'm also surprised 
This is kind of interesting. I guess Peter Jackson is listed twice. Maybe there's two different Peter Jacksons. So that's interesting to just note right away. And then I guess I'm spelling Steven Spielberg wrong somehow. Let's take a look. Oh, it's Steven with a V. So this is kind of nice that we're like immediately getting some feedback and then realizing our error. And there he is, right? Okay. So select names. Now let's kind of build off of this. So then we'll join. Uh, so we're going to need the movies, right? We're going to need to connect to movies because this whole question is the revenue. This column is actually called income in the data set. So it's like the, the income earned by these people. And so how are we going to connect names to the movies? Remember, we have to join the movie roles uh, on movie roles dot IMDb name ID equals names dot IMDb name ID. And I probably just want to make sure that I have this down here. So I'll do uh, IMDb title ID, right? So now I should be seeing all the movies, movie roles of these directors. And I broke it. No such column names.imdb title ID, that's correct. So this should be movie roles.imdb name ID. And that should be titles, uh, sorry, movie roles. And then, what did I say? No such role, I, no such column names.imdb title ID. So where is that located? Here. Yeah, that's wrong. This should be movie roles. Dot IMDb title ID. Let's keep looking. No such column. Movie roles. Dot IMDb name ID. Is that right? So let's take a look at this. IMDb name ID. This is movie roles. Join movie roles on uh, movie roles. Dot IMDb name ID equals names. Dot IMDb name ID. Select names, names.imdb, name ID, that seems right. Movie roles dot IMDb title ID. And it's saying we don't have movie roles dot IMDb name ID. Uh, let's take a look. Join movie roles on IMDb name ID. That seems weird to me. Yeah, well, that's inevitable. Let's take a look at this again. Here, select all. Uh, select IMDb name ID. Oh, you, am I doing this wrong, guys? Yeah, I, I'm reversing these. Thank you for uh, not telling me. I'm sure whoever put this in the chat told me. Yes, thanks, Brian. Okay, so let's see. I'm, am I doing the same thing again? IMDb title ID, movie roles. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, does it? IMDb title ID, no such column, IMDb title ID, dot movie roles. Doesn't that make sense? Oh, am I, I just don't understand table prefixes. On movie roles. You see what I'm talking about? There's another S from you should correct it out. Say that one more time. Oh, join movie roles on movies roles. Join movie, movie roles oh, on movie. So let's get the wording right. Thanks, gang. Movie roles is the word. Movie roles. And then we want to do... Uh, the table prefix. So it should be movie roles dot IMDB title ID. I think. That's better. Okay, that was a little tricky. Thanks for that. Um, okay, we are back. Okay, so the next thing. Uh, now we just need to connect join 
uh, titles, uh, join the actual movies. Join movies on movies.titleID, or let's get it right, IMDB title ID, equals movie roles dot IMDB title ID. I think this is good. Notice, by the way, how long some of these joins are now taking. That's, we, we'll, you know, later on we can talk about that issue more. But it's okay for now. So, okay, this seems to be working. So, for example, now that we have the joins down, we can start to actually, like, probably fill in the columns that are needed. Like, just select those columns that are needed. So, let's take a look at that again. So, the name... Am I doing this right? Let's take a look at their boot, the revenue earned. Organize a tire set of movies from most to least revenue. Okay, so we want the movies.title. Um, and then we want the movies.income. I'll probably do names.name. So this is like the director's name. And then the movies dot income and let's see that might be pretty good okay so now we're starting to really get somewhere it feels like we can kind of see we can see what's off by it I think I want to order by income descending so you can see again like I'm doing everything first uh, everything except the window functions first. And now this is looking pretty good. And also I'm able to verify, right, that like my data looks pretty accurate. This ill return, whatever, sorry, I can't speak. I'm, I'm butchering this, but it, it's the return of the king, right? So this is like Lord of the Rings, that makes sense. Transformers 3, right? Transformers 4, right? So this is some sort of sequel, maybe The Dark Knight. And this is like, right, like the return. So that again, like this stuff makes, seems to make sense, seems to be pretty accurate. And then Jurassic Park also seems accurate, All right? So now that we have verified this, we've done really like we had enough trouble with the joins, or I did, uh, then now we can finally add in this other column, okay? So this would be average income. I think that's what I want. Is it running average? Add a column that ranks the revenue. Okay, fair enough. So say rank over, and then this will be, let's just do order by revenue for now. But actually, let's build up to this. Uh, let's say as rank, because I think this is kind of interesting. This is what I did before class. Okay, so you can see like, it actually doesn't know how to organize this, like which seems weird. Uh, but we're not telling it how to organize this data. Like how, what does this rank by? So we say order by income, right? We don't, it doesn't know which of these columns to actually calculate the rank on. So if we do order by income, then it'll really just give us a rank all the way down. Oh, and I need to do order by income probably descending, right? So you can see like, even though this row is first, this is, you know, from least to greatest, this is the last, right? This would be last. So let's do order by income descending. And I think the question was a little vague. So this, maybe this was, right? Like you're done when you get this. But if say we want to calculate the rank of Peter Jackson, you know, rank by director, right? It's, it's really partitioned by, like, when do we want to start over? Let's say with each director, which is each of these four directors. So we want this to start over at one and then two, because it's a new director. It would be partition by uh, names dot IMDb name ID, right? Like I would choose the ID as opposed to the actual name to partition by. Why? Because we just saw that there is more than one. I forget who it was, Peter Jackson, I think, right? So we don't want that, like, messing up our calculation, whereas some of the other Peter Jackson's movies are coming in here, or, or affecting the rank. Okay, so now we have this starting over, right? This is the top-earning movie for Peter Jackson, and then here's the re-top-earning movie 
for Michael Bay. And you could do like a limit, you know, and now we can just flip this down. And now these are two new people, so we're good. All right. So the actual window function wasn't, like once we put everything else in order, the actual window function we were really able to, and we messed it, I think I messed it up a couple of times, but we're able to iterate on it. All right. And like figure it out. Especially because we're at this point, we're really just dealing with this one column. So that's honestly like that's real. That really should just be your approach. Get every other column down, and then do the and get the dimension of the data down, meaning any group buys, make sure those are good, and then work on the window function. It's really like the the last step. It doesn't affect anything else. It just affects its own column. So that's that's what you should do last. All right, I want to do the next one, but questions before I move on to that? No? Okay. Let's copy over the join. I think we're going to need these joins again. Uh, so let's see. Let's move on to actors. Find the running average revenue Tom Cruise movies have earned between 92 and 95 and Brad Pitt uh, order by date published. Okay, so let's create... So, and it's probably good to look at this. So this is average running income. Can I create a new code cell I can? So this is, I'm just gonna copy the joins. And remember, so this will be my query. And then I'm just gonna need to do this. So the joints feel the same to me because I'm gonna need to connect actor with the movie revenue, right? This is find the running average revenue Tom Cruise movies have earned. So let's do select name, oh, sorry, names.name from names, and then we'll do join the movie roles, right, on the IMDb name ID. So this table's already loaded, and so we can join the IMDb movie, name ID with movie roles, IMDb name ID, and now we'll link in the movies, and we're good. Right? And maybe we want to do names.name, uh, movies.title, movies.income, movies.year. So we're already like knocking things out, right? Which makes us feel better too. And then let's do uh, limit you know, 10 or something. Okay, we don't feel as good. But we just need to do like a where clause, right? Where names.name. Where names.name in, and this is uh, Tom Cruise, comma, Brad Pitt. Limit 10. Okay. And then let's, do we have the income here? Yeah, let's order by, order by income descending. Maybe we want to order by like the name of the actor, comma, income. Right, this way we have all Tom Cruise movies and then all uh, Brad Pitt movies. That's probably what I would do. Order by names.name descending, comma, uh, income descending. Can I do that? Let's see. I cannot. Oh, names.name. Name. Let's see if that works. No, doesn't like it. Order by names.name name descending. Uh, let's Google it. Oh, would that fix it? Thanks so much. All right, so we're able to do order by these two different elements. So. If Prime, so it's Tom. first order everything by Tom Cruise, right, by the name, and then within that, order by the income descending. And again, like, it's good just to look at these, right, Mission Impossible, this seems right. I forget, this is War of the Worlds, right, uh, The Last Samurai. And I guess, like, if we controlled for inflation, maybe these would be different, but this seems okay. Um, all right. I think we got everything except for the window function. Let's take a look. With Tom Cruise, maybe this should be ascending. 
uh, order by name by name, ascending. That way Brad Pitt is first. And then here's the money should be descending, it seems like, income. Oh no, we're ordering by year. Year, year ascending. That's interesting. It's because we don't have, the reason why these are showing up this time but not showing up here is because we don't have an income. So that's kind of interesting. It's once we say like calculate the average income, it's gonna remove these it seems like. And that's why we're starting at 1992 for Brad Pitt. Um, all right, so what's next? Find the average running income Order by the date published between, oh, that's the other reason why, uh, and date or release date between 1992 and 1995. I think we can just do that. Uh, is it not release date? Let's remove this one more time. Date published, I guess is the name of the title, name of the thing. Can, is that gonna work? Do we have a year? Oh, year, let's do year. Okay, now this is starting to look pretty good. Um, okay, so now that we have this down, it feels like we can, yeah, this is, looking pretty good. I don't know. This is, we have this extra one for whatever reason, but otherwise it's looking good. I think because we're still ordering by the income. Order by name, stunt name. No, it says order by date published. Okay, anyway. Um, and I guess, and we'll order by, sorry, names.name, uh, date published. Ascending. Okay, now it's, now it's looking better. Okay, so now that we got everything down, let's do the window function. So we wanna find the running average. Uh, so to find the running average, again, we're back to our window functions. So we'll do average, right, of the income over, this is, we can kind of think that uh, if we just do order by, right, order by the uh, date published, well, this is going to be a running average that, like, merges together, right, like the Tom Cruise and the Brad Pitt movies, which I don't think is what we want. I think we want a running average that, right, like, starts over with the Tom Cruise movie. So once we get to Tom Cruise, so we should, that means that we should partition by, right? So partition by actors dot IMDB name ID, or this should be names dot IMDB name ID, order by date publish lowest to highest, right? Ascending, which is the default. Um, and this order by is what's gonna give us a running total, right? Let's call this as running average or something like that. Okay, so here you can see this is the same average, right? 4334. Three, four. But then once we get to here, this is a combination of the two. Okay? And then this is a combination of the three. All right? And then this is a combination of the four, etc. So 2.87, right, this is looking right. All right, so this is, like this, this is a long query, obviously, right? It's like six lines or something like that. But we broke it into steps. I say this is just more syntactically like complicated, but we left it for the end. It's because it's also just internal to itself. 
questions about this, I think I think really like one you could see that you want to just get everything else that we learned before down first. Okay, so this is a running average, meaning like this this average, you can see it smooths out. It probably should smooth out essentially over time. Um, but it look this calculation looks at all the previous incomes. Let me look at the question. Don't you need to include some for the running average? I don't think so, right? Because let's take a th let's take a look at it. So this is so this is the average income, right? And then this running average should be the average of these two numbers. So let's take a look at this. So we'll do this number plus this number, right? Divided by two. 28. So that's what we get here, right? And then this would be these three divided by three. Let me take a look. Yeah, running total versus running average, right? So if I wanted to see, maybe it should be, find the run, but this says running average, right? If I want to see the running total, that would be different. Make sense? So, but that would be an easy fix, right? I can just change it. Or if I wanted, if I wanted both, right? I could just copy this line and do sum, and that as running total, right? Okay, so this is our running average, right? And you can kind of see how it's working. If I do the third one, uh, let's just do the third one for fun, because it is fun. Uh, we'll add up this one and divide by three. Okay, so that's these three, one, two, three, it's giving me this number. Let me just take a look, okay. Okay, so now there's this thing called a sliding window function, all right? So this is what this is. Let's say we wanna find, you know, like how much money is this movie making? Like, but we wanna see like how Brad Pitt's doing, let's say just like plus or, you know, for over the, like the last three movies, not all of them, right? But like, how has he been doing lately? You know, for this year, like, is this like a good Brad Pitt run or like a weak Brad Pitt run, right? So what you can do with a sliding window function, there's different ways to do it. You can say, let's say I just want the one preceding row and the existing row. You can say this, um, partition by, order by date, publish, ascending, rows between, current row and one, sorry that this is long, rows between current row and, I should actually do it this way, between one preceding and current row. Okay, so what will this do? The average, like so if we get to this, this value here, the average won't be including this row here anymore because it's just gonna include these two. Then when I go down one, the average again just includes the one preceding and the current row. So it's just like a smoothed average essentially. Let's see if this works, I broke it. Oh, that's not fun. It's probably the order. I might have to cheat. Um, let me, let me cheat, I don't wanna confuse people. Order by date, rows between, is that what I said? Uh, well, let's, let's remove yeah, that the, ascending. The current row, the no underscore. Oh, is that it? Yeah, you're right, thank you. Man, this is why I messed these up, okay. Rows between one preceding and current row, two, two separate rows. Two separate words. Thank you. Okay, so this is, again, this is sliding window. What that means is 
this average, let's take this one as an example. Um, wait, am I looking? Yeah, let's take this one as an example. This is just one row proceeding, and the current row should give me this value. So let's confirm that. So these two, two and three, should give me three. Should give me uh, the running average of three. So we do this, and let's just do limit uh, like five. Okay, so two and three. Can I not? Okay, two is this, two and three, two is this, three is this, should give me this value here. I broke it. This two, three, nine, five, three, one. I broke it. One preceding in the current row. Order, order by, let's order by uh, income. Because that's, I don't know, this is order by date published ascending. Sorry about this guy. You copied the wrong number, right? Oh, I did? Yeah. For the second number, it's 3134. You're so right. Okay, all is restored. So I did it right the whole time. I just copied the wrong number. So 239313. So it's just the one preceding in the current row. This one for this average, right? Again, one preceding in the current row. Should give me this number. And this seems about right. Right? So this is again that sliding window where each of these values isn't looking at the whole partitioned data anymore, but just, you know, relative to the current row, okay? There are different variations of this. Like you can do one preceding and two and one following, right? Which means, let's just do that, even if it's confusing. So we're gonna change the width of the sliding window. So one preceding and one following Sorry, for one preceding one following for this would be for this value right here is going to be include this, this, and this to get this number, right? One preceding and one following should give me this value. So let's just take a look at that. 239, 31, and then this guy divided by 3. gives me this value, okay? So that's a sliding window function. The way to think about it, the way, like one analogy that worked for me is if you think of your rows, right? Like here are my individual rows. And you think of like, this is almost like slats in a fence, right? And you're driving by the fence, right? Like you're going, down through the fence, you you have a different, you keep the same kind of scope, right? Like I'm driving, this is one preceding and one uh, following as I'm right here, right? To calculate this, this value. But then as I drive along, let's say I reach here, well, my scope, right, changes. Like I see different slats as I'm driving along. So now this is, if I'm calculating this, this is one preceding, one following, as I'm right here. And then here's a, th here's a third one, right? As I'm driving along, this is one preceding and one following. So that's a sliding window function, all right? Is you're kind of specifying how broad your uh, lens is or like the periscope, I don't know, right, is. Uh, and then you move along and recalculate based on uh, something relative to the, r the current row.
that you're on, okay? And then the keywords are just annoying. Uh, well, maybe not annoying, but there, but there's a few to remember, right? So what are the, some of the keywords we have? You start with the word rows, right? Rows between, and then it's like one preceding, right? So the number of rows, right? And one following, or you could do uh, and current row, right? So that's actually not so bad but I, I just tend to forget it. Okay, so that's, that is one thing. The second thing is this lag keyword. So let's say, let's take this out for now. So we're back to the movie's income. If you want to see, if you want to compare, let's say I want to see like how much more or less did Brad Pitt do, you know, did Brad Pitt earn, his movie earn, than the previous one, you can use the lag keyword. This is actually like, so lag one, oh man, I'm going to forget the syntax, sorry gang. It goes, yeah, lag the column name and then how much to lag. So it'll be lag uh, income and then one as previous income. So let's just see this. Do movies dot income. Mm, I broke it again. What does this tell me? Uh, misuse of window function lag. Okay, that's fine. So we probably need an over over parentheses uh, and probably do uh, order by the date published, right? And then probably do a partition by, uh, when do I want to start over would be the names dot IMDB name ID. And I broke it again. I think what, in the previous example, there was a third argument. Yeah, but you don't, I don't think I need that. Uh, let's just see. I, here I have, this is messed up. I had the alias in here. That was just, a, I just missed that. Okay. So you, we can explain that third argument in a second. So take a note, take a look at what's going on here. Here we have the income. This is the income of the world, the war of the worlds or whatever, right? And then this is the previous income. So if we want to see how much like more or less he did, so this would be this income minus this one. So you, we can do that. We can do like movies. I think I can do this. Movies.income minus the previous one. So this is the current income minus the previous one. All right, so this movie made a bunch less than the other one, right? And you can see that. And then this one is this minus the other one. And it's true, like this one made a bunch less than the previous one. He's not doing so great. So for this, right, we have a lag. This is how large the look back should be. We're just looking one ahead, right? And then this, 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 uh, this thing here, just notice when we, what is this uh, potential third argument about? Notice that when I have the first row, there is no previous income. So you can specify what you want that NAN value to be. So if I want it to be zero, right? Like how much did he make previously? Uh, we can say that it's that, put that value as zero, right? And now this will be a negative number because he made it and then we subtract. So, right, the previous income is zero. His total income minus the previous income is, right, the current income. So that's what this third argument's about. So again, we kind of, we just have this lag thing, lag on what column, how many rows ahead previously to look at, right? And then the rest is the same, right? When do we want to start over? 
right? Be, based on basically when we get to a new actor, what do we want? What is what, like? How are we ordering this? We're ordering it by when the movie came out, right? And then look back one row based on that. Look back one row. Okay. So that that zero sets null values to be zero. Yeah. So how come the previous Brad Pitt movies that were NAN when you queried at the very beginning are popping up here? You get what I'm saying? It might be. Let's see. Oh, because did that? I don't know if that's. I think I do. Let's just see this again. Okay, let's remove this and see if those movies show up again. Is this the same, or is this this guy's Oh, new? no, it's because you said between 1996 yeah, and 1995. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Right. And those were in, like, 88. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we learned kind of two different things, right? One is the, the uh, running window function, right? And that, God bless me if I can do it again, uh, is, like, uh, average, right? So it's, like, we're calculating average the income over... And then the rest is the same, right? We'll partition by the uh, movies, uh, no, sorry, the, the names dot IMDB name ID, uh, order by the date release, or I forget what we called it, date published, date published, uh, ascending, right, from earliest to late, and then rows between, right? And then it's, what is like the width, right? So it could be, one uh, one preceding is the keyword and current row where current row is two words or one preceding and like one following right let's just see it does this I actually have commas here it seems to be compiling so that actually worked and we should get, look how fun this column name is let's call this like a uh, rolling uh, average, right? Same thing if you do, you know, and you can do the sum or whatever, but the window will be smaller. It won't include all previous ones. It would just be, in this case, look at one before, if it exists, uh, and one after, right? And include the current row. So the, the window changes as you move through the rows. All right, that is like the extent of window functions, as far as I know. These things are like questioned. Like if you go on like five interviews, right? Like they, they will come up for I say 90% of you. Okay, so I, the reading is actually a little different. So I'll, I mean, it covers the same material, just a different, um, a different domain. So I'll save this and share it with you all if you want to view it just for myself to prove that I did it.